Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Umi Aida Mendia Azhar. My group member and I will present about tortilla chips. I would like to start this presentation to explain a little bit about the history of tortilla chips. Tortilla chips were invented in Los Angeles on 1940 by Rebecca Wet Carranza and her husband. Tortilla chips come in yellow and try the shapes make it look more attractive than other snacks. Usually, for the original tortilla chips, people will serve it with the dipping sauce to make it tastier. However, it also comes in variety of flavors to give customers making choice according to their taste. Besides that, people usually enjoy these snacks during picnic, watching movies while completing assignments and as appetizers. These snacks are popular among young generation as it is tasty, easy to find, and also affordable. Without further ado, we will see the factory activities, workflow, holding cars, product development, as well as the recommendations of tortilla chips. So now, I will continue with the factory activities, as what is shown in the video in the minute of 0.39 shows that as a food supplier, we must be cautious about the ingredient use and how we maintain hygiene with the food we make for customers. As a result, wearing gloves during food production, processing is widely suggested. Undoubtedly, making tortilla chips requires a significant amount of time and must be finished on schedule. In a minute of 1.02, we can clearly see that the dough for the chips must be decreased and run through a series of circular blades that break the dough into smaller blades. However, the machine travels very quickly when processing the dough, causing the dough fragments to fall out. Despite that, in a minute of 1.30, the machine really works conveniently. The dough rolls out into a flat shape and the sheet passes underneath a cylindrical cutter and there is where the famous triangular chips have been made. In this process, we can observe that such technology can save the time of making the chip. Even though the process of creating the chips is fairly congested and there is still some residue from the cutting of the dough for a minute of 1.5, they do not squander it. They even return the dough to the dough machine and utilize it in the tortilla making process. Besides that, in a minute of 2.18, they are very meticulous in creating the tortilla in order to provide the finest chips. They cannot have chips that are not the correct size, such as chips that are too fat or too thin. The chips must be measured again to ensure that they are not too thin or too thick after they have been formed into a triangle shape and have the desired shape and size. The rationale for this is to avoid overcooking the chips and instead have them well cooked and crumbly enough to sprinkle in the bag. Aside from that, what makes this tortilla chips production facility superior is that while waiting for the tortilla to cool, the inspector or food tester will analyze the chips to see if there are any burnt tortilla chips after they have been cooked. As you can see, in a minute of 3.50, surprisingly, they also supply a machine for mixing all of the flavor into the chips. This is not only adds flavor to our meal, but it also speeds up the chip making process. To ensure that the flavor works well with the chips, they must coat the chips in oil again after cooking. This prevents the flavor from slipping off the chips. This means that the oil coating can adhere the flavor to the chips, preventing them from becoming tasteless because the flavor complements the chips. Lastly, in a minute of 5.08, before the tortilla is ready to be processed and placed in a bag, there is a small but important step in packaging the chips where the chips will be placed in the correct quantity of bag. So that's all from me. Now I will pass to the next presenter. So now I will continue this presentation by explaining the flow chart for the process of tortilla chips. For the first process, which is mixing process, the workers will put 900 bag of maize straw and combine with salt, sugar, and starch in the mixing machines. It will be mixed for a couple hours until it being kneaded into thick dough. Next, in the molding process, the dough needs to be reduced to a single place, which is break it into smaller pieces, and after that, it will be divided into compartments. Next, the dough now roll out into enormous flat sheets, and this is where the triangle shape appears. And this is where the tortilla chip is beginning to take forms. So now this is the time to fry the tortilla chips. The chip will be sent to oven once it has been pressed up. It will be put in the fryer for a short period just to put them into traditional color. After that, the chips allow to be cooled down for 5 minutes. The last step in the fry process is the chips to be fried for just 1 minute in the bulk of boiling at 175 degrees Celsius. For the fourth process, the chip will be mixed with the popular flavor such as cheese and onion and clamato. In this process, the chips will be covered with oil again to make sure the flavor will have a good coating with them. Under that, the powder filters down through the pipes and into the machine where the oil cup of chips are continuously rotated where it will scatter the flavoring throughout the drum liberally, coating the chip as that speed. 
spin around. For the last process, which is feeding process, the tortilla got to put into the bag. The machine weighs out the chips and then follow a precise timing system. Each portion is released just at the moment to fall into a waiting bag. Finally, the tortilla chip is ready to put in the market. That's all from me for the flowchart of processed tortilla chips. Now, we'll proceed to the holding cost for company's inventory. Holding cost and current cost are interchangeable terms in inventory management. Both have the same definition, which the expenses incurred to store inventories. The possible holding cost for Tokila Chips Company may include rental spaces costs, security and insurance costs, inventory service costs, and depreciation costs. Storage space, manpower, and the cost of rotten or damaged items are all included in a company's holding expenses. Supply chain management tactic is very important in order to reduce inventory expenses. Decisions about inventory expenditure might limit the amount of cash available for other users because inventory is an asset account that demands a significant financial investment. If a business orders too much of a particular item, the excess stock must be stored in a bag warehouse until it is ready to be shown for sale to clients. Other than cost of the warehouse storage space, business must pay for security and insurance for the protection of the goods. Companies depend on the storage of their precious inventory which they keep in hand. The security breach will almost definitely cause financial loss as well as psychological and emotional hardship for both owners and staff. No matter how much insurance is in place, losing goods as a result of warehouse thief or negligence can be a very expensive and unpleasant event. For instance, a break-in might occur at the warehouse or even worse, staff members could steal goods from a chaotic storage area. The quantity of goods the business keeps in hand to complete orders is known as its level of inventory. A high level of inventory makes it simple to satisfy consumer demand. High inventory levels result in higher insurance and tax rates, which raises the overall cost of inventory service. Depending on the kind of inventory stored, inventory service costs are costs for tax, hardware, and any necessary insurance. These expenses are all regarded as holding costs. Thank you, Ms. Lisa. Hello, everyone. My name is Akila, and I will continue our presentation with how the firm can produce new product with existing machine in the factory. Did you ever wonder how many new product can be produced or what it could be? Stay with us in this video to find out. Let's go! The first new product that can be produced is by the level of spiciness of tortilla chip. I believe most of us will enjoy the spicy flavor especially if it is combination with something crunchy like tortilla chip. To continue, this spiciness will be have three different levels of spiciness which are level 1 is spicy, level 2 is hot and level 3 is extremely hot. In order to produce this new product, the tortilla chip will be coated with different levels of spiciness in the step of mixing flavor. Next new product will be seaweed tortilla chip. Why we choose seaweed? According to medical news today, December 2021, seaweed contains high level of nutrition such as vitamin A, B, C, and E. This flavor can be enjoyed by everyone no matter what age. In the step of mixing process, the seaweed will be mixed the dough and when the dough is done mixed with this ingredient, the tortilla chip will be cut into triangular shape. Continuing with other steps, until the tortilla chip are done frying, the tortilla chip will be coated with seaweed crumb. How about we produce the new product for tortilla chip as one of the healthy food? Is it possible? Yes, of course. For another new product can be produced is a low-carb tortilla chip. Basically, tortilla chips are made from maize flour or in other words, corn flour. The maize flour will be replaced with the almond flour. For your information, almond flour is considered as one of the best flour for the weight loss because it has a low carbohydrate content. In order to make this product successful, the almond flour will be added in the mixing process with the other ingredient to make the healthy version of tortilla chip. The last new product is to be produced in different colors such as green and red. Color is potentially the most important sensory property in the food and beverage industry. Food color give consumer an almost immediate impression about the freshness, flavor, and quality of the product. Since we produce a new product, the green color will be represent seaweed tortilla chip and red represent the spiciness of tortilla chip. This color will appear in the mixing process. I will pass this presentation to next presenter which is Muhammad Fikri.
Now let's move on to the our recommendation. Firstly, our suggestion for factory to trilogy is to modernize the current hardware and software. In the past, several equipment like pre mixer, first blade mixer, and vacuum blade mixer were employed in master processing scheme. Additionally, there were many molding machine, or to put it another way, a distinct equipment was used to make each variety of tortilla chips. So, in a substantial waste of resources, including money, time, and effort, it can be overcome by combining machinery with various purpose and cutting edge technology, such as pre mixer with two vacuum blade missiles, among its three major duties. The risk that mis the risk that result from small machine fault it can be avoided and waste can be reduced and also thanks to advancement in total chip processing technology. In order to address customer preference, um, new items might also be introduced. Indirectly, manufacturers that process tortilla chips can meet the enormous demand for chips without having to hire a lot of people, incur high processing costs, or processes tortilla chips quickly. And our second suggestion is that we should, uh, they should make improvement while making tortilla chips. Aside from that, we can observe that there is a lot of material mixing going on, surrounded by unused machinery that will result in waste. So then all tortilla chip dough can be sold without any dough wastes and we advise individuals who process tortilla chips to always carefully inspect the items created. To conclude, tortilla chips is one of the simple and tasty snacks. Plus, the added value which are easy to find and affordable make it become the main choice snacks of many people. Despite that, the process in making it must be advanced to increase the productivity and it also must be upgraded time to time in order to make customers satisfied. The holding cost must be consistently monitored to ensure that company will make more profits and avoiding losses. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.